Guys, it is officially for us the first day of summer, which is just kind of crazy to think about. And we're gonna kick it off with a bang today. I've got some fun things planned. We're gonna have a great time. Um, Cause there's just something we've been talking you know, the past couple of weeks of what does childlike faith look like? And this morning I was reading Psalm 101 from the message. I highly encourage you, if you're looking for something to just kind of accompany your Bible reading to help you maybe grasp scripture or maybe even see it in a different light, Eugene Peterson, who wrote the message, comes from maybe a different background or perspective than many of us do, maybe a different tradition. And in that, we're able to collectively gather some different voices and see things in different ways because different doesn't mean bad. Different oftentimes means good. Like God is different than us, but yet connected to us. And so as I read that, Psalm 101, he translates, and I love this. He says, bring to God the gift of laughter and enter with the password, thank you. And just thinking about kids and how there's just this gift of laughter that last night, it, it was a late night. We let the kids stay up till midnight, which may not sound crazy, but for our kids, that's late. And then today we're going to do some fun things. And I was just praying this morning and thinking about like, I want to laugh don't you want to laugh? And like somewhere along the lines, I believe that I started to believe that like God doesn't want my laughter. He only wants my holiness as if they're different. That you can't laugh and be holy or be holy and laugh. And so as you just kind of kick off the summer, as you start to think about what do I want these next two and a half months to look like? What could they look like? Our question of May, what may God do, right? What may God do with my summer? I want to be a person who laughs a lot and particularly laughs at myself a lot because I often wonder if God's kind of laughing at me like I sometimes look at my kids and I watch what they're doing and the way their imagination's going or how they pronounce words or, and I just start to laugh. I wonder if God looks at us kind of in the same way, not laughing as in judging us, but laughing as in, man, they are really, they're just crazy. Look at those kids. And do you understand like we're God's kids that God made us a garden and said go and play in it it's kind of like when I look out of my backyard here at the swing and the trampoline and the fire pit and the footballs and all everything that's all around as I look at the mess that's inside my house it's just evidence that there's life that my kids get to run and play in our yard and I want to run and play in the yard that God's given me and for some of us, including myself, traditionally, that would sound liberal and new agey and kind of weird. And I wonder if it's just kind of godly that I've condensed God to a building that I heard it said one time that we want to put God in a box and forget that Jesus walks through walls. And so I want to let him out. He doesn't need to be caged. He doesn't need to be controlled. I want to let the spirit roam. Because we do. We worship the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Not father, son, and self-reliance or self-control or self-denial or self-discipline. Those are all outcomes or results or fruit of being with God. And so today, maybe sit down right on three ways that just fun, crazy, almost what seems to be unproductive on the surface, things you want to do this summer that in reality are going to be nourishing to your soul and enriching to your relationship and knowledge of God. God, I thank you so much, and I do, I wait for you. I long for you. I desire you that we cry out like Psalm 27 that we read this past week, that one thing we ask, that we may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our life, God. But Father, in doing so, we know that you make us lie down in green pastures, that you make our cup overflow, that you call us to laugh, to praise, to dance, to sing. God, you've made us and tell us that you've come that we might have joy, but not just any joy, that we might have the joy of your son, Jesus, and it may be full. So God, I pray that even in the midst of pain or frustration or annoyance, that those would be moments, blips, in comparison to knowing that we'll have joy in your presence forevermore. Because God, Psalm 101 ends by saying that you are loyal forever and ever, steadfast, faithful. So God, we believe that, we trust that. And so today, God, we wanna bring you a gift of laughter, an offering of praise. We wanna enter into your presence with the password, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For loving us, for making us. Thank you for making the smile. Thank you for 
making the sound of laughter. Thank you for the way that it nourishes our soul. We love you. And it's in your son's name I pray. Amen. Love you guys. Friday. Look who it is. Hi. Bye. <laughs> love you guys. You're going to see a lot of him this summer. See ya.